just thought of that. All right, people. So I'm doing this musical called Disaster, which is a 1970s disaster movie, but as a musical. And I'm standing here, and by standing, sitting, with my lead, Zach Resnick. Zach, why do you spell your name Cuckoo Bird style? Why not Z-A-C-H? You know, actually, it was. It was Z-A-C-H when I was born. And then, like, a week later, my parents felt very ordinary, and so they changed it. Oh, your parents did, not you. Okay, no, bye-bye. No, I didn't change it. A okay. week old. They hippify. <laughs> Don't be a dick. Okay, anywho! <laughs> the point is, he plays the lead. I'm obsessed with his voice. Um, crazy young. Went to Carnegie Mellon, of course. And I was commenting on how gorgeous he sounded on this one note in the show. And he claims he sings it that way because he's basing it on Gavin Creel's voice. Now, tell me what you mean by that, Dia. Well, I, uh, I look up to Gavin, and so I just... How can you imitate? But I can. I look up to a lot of singers, but I can't sound like them. So how do you make your voice sound like him? Um, actually, that's actually sort of how I've always learned how to sing. I started that way very young, and then when I got to college, my voice teacher was ready to kill me because I just wasn't getting the right placement that he was trying to like drill in my head and over and over and over. And I just started watching these YouTube videos that I had taken of these older kids at CMU, and all of a sudden, I learned how to do it just from watching and listening. So not from someone teaching you technique, from really imitating their... Well, it was a combination of both, totally. But, but I think like the thing that made me finally go like, oh, was actually watching a video. And so Gavin was very similar. I was listening to whatever, however many recordings he's done. And, so good. He's um, dreamy. Oh, what? Sorry, I was in a reverie. Yeah. Okay, so first I'm going to play you what it would sound like without the Gavin spin, and then we'll play it with the Gavin spin. So do it from, um, we may as well go home. Two, three. We may as well go home As I did on my own alone again Naturally Lydia Foghorn. I did on my own! Not since Stritch. Okay, so now <laughs> here, listen to the first verse, and then we'll do the delicious Gavin Creel note at the end. Okay, start spinning, spinning, spinning. Visit a nearby town and climbing to the top will throw myself off in an effort to make it clear to who ever what it's like when you're shattered left standing in the lurch in a church where people saying my god that's tough she stood him up no point in us remaining we may as well go home as I did on my own alone again, naturally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here goes my next favorite moment from Disaster. Brava. Okay, it's me again. So now I'm standing with two Persians, Shares Ali Taha and Sam Eskandini. Donnie. I can't. <laughs> Anywho. In all the press releases, it's deep. You no, know because it doesn't, it's not delicious like Rudetsky. Anyway, uh, the point is, so there's a moment in the show, every character sort of names something in the show, kind of their standout moment. And Sherz has this moment in Act 2 where the killer bees attack her husband and she screams. So I listed her as woman who screams. But I wanted to list her as woman who hits crazy high note, but no one really knows that it's her. So let me just describe what it is, and we're going to actually give her the focus on the camera. She does not get in the show because she's backstage. So in, during the show, Sam plays this chef at one point, and he's going to go to this lookout perch that's going to look over the whole casino to look for this missing child. And someone says, the earthquake, it looks like the earthquake damaged it. And he's like, stop being such a girl. And he does, a, you know, la 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 la, climbs, la 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 do 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 do, and during the ba da 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 da, he falls to his death. And the ba da 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 is actually sung by Cher's offstage. No credit, to the point where one of Psalm's friends, or one of Cher's friends, thought that Psalm was doing it. Castrati style. So I would like to show you all what happens backstage. Shares every uh, time we do a show, take some of my water, which I bring. I don't know why you can't bring your own. No, I don't. You literally oh, was like, exactly. you were like, is what that my liar. high note water? You took I my vitamin like water. Joke. Anywho, my t where's funny. the joke part? <laughs> joke part is not taking the water. Joke part. Anywho, here's what it sounds like. And by the way, Cher says she looks crazy when she does it, but she's never on camera. So just this is the crazy face we have to see backstage. Everyone's actually going to see my crazy face. I've never seen you hit this before. So Sam no. starts. He starts climbing I'm to the climbing. top during the high note. He falls. Stop catching up. Here we go. He's climbing. Hit it. Let credit be given where credit is due. Thank you. Still got it. <laughs> and by it, vocal damage. Excellent. <laughs> okay. 
And my final favorite moment of the show. So um, we have a kid on the show. We had an adult playing a kid before, playing a boy and girl twin, Michael Longoria. But I always wanted to be a kid, but I was like, where can I ever get a kid that's so talented? Cut to, we had two kids audition, and one of those kids was Clark. Amazing in the show. We're desperate to get the show to Broadway before um, he hits puberty. So we're doing secret <laughs> estrogen injections. Anywho, the point is, don't want his voice to change. So this is, he plays twins. What are the twins' names, dear? Ben and Lisa. He plays both Ben and Lisa, which is a lot of quick changes of wigs. And in this moment, he's Ben. No, you're Lisa. Lisa. Carrying his brother Ben, because Ben has, of course, diabetes, because it's a disaster movie. So um, he's singing this song, and it's one of my favorite moments in the show. Now, Clark has three songs in the show, and every single song stops the show, which makes me as an adult feel great. Literally hate him. So we're going to start right from um, the end of the song. I'm obsessed, especially his little turn on he ain't heavy. See, anyone born before like 1980 knows how to riff. In my day, we riff like this. Sometimes I wonder. Like that was the extent of our riffing. But anyone young knows how to do all that. I cannot do it. Okay, it's a long, long road. Clark, you ready? Um, it's a long. It's a long, long road from which the I'm out. Okay, bye-bye. That's it.